You're welcome to Destiny Discovery with Pastors Dilly and Tammy Tukwe Balagun, a program designed to help you discover your destiny. It will also enlighten you on how you can identify your purpose, the specific steps you need to take, and the strategies to employ in achieving and fulfilling your purpose. Welcome to Destiny Discovery.
Let somebody shout hallelujah. You are all welcome to another edition of Destiny Discovery. It is my prayer that as we go through this edition, all your children and all members of your family will surely fulfill their destiny. For some times now, we have been looking at the ordeals of the firstborn. We have been looking at the ordeals of the firstborn. And we have emphasized that what we are discussing actually concerns everyone. If you are not a firstborn, you might be a child of a firstborn. One way or the other, you will discover that you are related to the firstborn. You may even get married to the firstborn. And I pray that all our firstborn will surely fulfill their destinies in Jesus' name. We have been looking at the ordeals of the firstborn. We have looked briefly at the life of, at the life of Cain. We also studied the life of Abraham, who happened to be the firstborn of his dad. We look at the life of Isaac, who was also the firstborn. We also look at the life of Esau, who was also the firstborn of his dad. But today, we want to look at the ordeals of another firstborn by the name Reuben. Reuben. As a foundational scripture, I like us to read Genesis chapter 49. Genesis 49, verses 3 and 4. Genesis 49, 3 and 4. Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity, and the excellency of power. First four, unstable as water, thou shalt not excel, because thou wentest up to thy father's bed, then defilest thou it, he went up to my coach. Reuben was the firstborn of Israel the firstborn of Jacob. As we have seen it in this scripture, when Israel, when Jacob was about to die, he invited all his children. He said, gather yourself together unto me. I want you to begin to come up according to your age, and I will tell you what will become of you after I have gone. So we are looking at Reuben, the firstborn of Jacob. I like to say by the virtue of the fact that Reuben was the firstborn of Jacob, he was entitled to several opportunities. Every firstborn is entitled to some opportunities that may not be available to all other children. Maybe that is why the enemy is targeting the firstborn. Like I said in the previous lecture, if you are a firstborn, you are a superstar. Because Reuben happened to be the firstborn of Israel, he actually was a superstar. There are some essential benefits that are readily available to Reuben as the firstborn. Number one, being the firstborn of his dad, he has the anointing. He has the power of God because the Almighty God emphasizes that in the land of Israel, every firstborn belongs to him, whether the firstborn of human being, the firstborn of animal, God said every firstborn belongs to him. And as a result of that, power, the anointing, is made available to the firstborn. By the virtue of the fact that Reuben was the firstborn, he had the anointing. He 
at the power of God. But unfortunately today, so many firstborn are not exhibiting the power of the Almighty God. I pray that after today's edition, as many as are in one way or the other, related to the firstborn or happen to be the firstborn, the power of the Almighty God shall be restored into your life. Number two, because Reuben was the firstborn, he had what I call leadership right. In the land of Israel, if you are the firstborn of your dad, you are expected to be the leader of the family. No wonder others who are not firstborn were always striving to ensure that they arrive as firstborn. But in his own case, Reuben had this opportunity. He had the leadership role, the leadership right. Being the firstborn of Jacob, he was the one expected to lead all other children of Jacob by the virtue of the fact that he was a firstborn. Maybe you are listening to me, you are a firstborn or children of firstborn or married to firstborn, one way or the other, you have lost this leadership right. I pray by the grace of God, this leadership right will be restored unto you. As if that is not enough, Reuben had what I call the bad right. The bad right. And this is very essential in the land of Israel. If you happen to be the firstborn, the bad right belongs to you. When we talk about the bad right, what exactly do we mean? The bad right is the right of possession given to the firstborn. If you happen to be the firstborn, you have the right to possess the authority of your father. You also have the right to possess half of his inheritance. That is what is called bad right. And whenever the lineage is going, the lineage passes through the firstborn. That is why we will say, Abraham begat Isaac. Isaac begat Jacob. Of course, it will have been Isaac begat Esau, because Esau was the firstborn. But somehow, somehow, as I explained in the previous lecture, a lecture, Esau lost his birthright. So the birthright usually passes through the firstborn. So Reuben had this opportunity, but something happened because of the attack that was launched against him by the enemy, he lost it. Under this birthright, may I also explain that the firstborn has what I call the right of inheritance. In the land of Israel, when a man dies, half of his properties will be divided, will be given to the firstborn. These are the things, when you put them together, the firstborn is a superstar. And that is why the enemy has been launching attack against the firstborn. Up to today, the enemy is still launching attack on the firstborn. But I pray, as the firstborn, you will fulfill your destiny. As children of the firstborn, you will fulfill your destiny. If you are married to the firstborn, I still pray that your spouse will fulfill his or her destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. All I'm trying to say is that the enemy usually launches attack against the firstborn. This attack was so forceful against the life of Reuben. Instead of Reuben enjoying all this right, the enemy came in and moved Reuben to commit the sin of sexual immorality. As it is recorded in Genesis 35-22, Genesis 35-22 Reuben slept with, with Bilia, his father's concubine, and the Bible says his father added. If you are a firstborn or related to the firstborn, I'm telling you the sin of sexual immorality is very, very dangerous. 
one of the original laws given to Moses in Exodus chapter 20, verse 14, the Bible says, Thou shalt not commit adultery. A lot of people today, a lot of firstborn are missing their right, are missing their opportunity because of the uncontrollable appetite for sex, because of the sin of sexual immorality. And because the Reuben allowed this sin at the end of the day, when his father was supposed to bless him, his father placed a curse on him and said, Reuben, unstable as water, thou shalt not excel. As I begin to conclude, the essence of this edition is to encourage you as a firstborn to rise up in prayer and pray for yourself. Every firstborn, children of firstborn, those married to firstborn, needs prayer so as to be able to enjoy all your rights and privileges. Reuben lost his own. If you read 1 Corinthians 5, 1-2, the Bible says that because Reuben committed the sin of adultery, he lost his birthright, and the birthright was given to the sons of Jacob. I pray that in the journey of life, you will not lose your golden opportunity. Wherever you are every day, pray for your firstborn. Wherever you are if, you are, if you are a child or you are children of firstborn, pray for your dad or your mom because firstborn needs prayer. All we are saying is that let us raise altar of prayer for our firstborn so that they will be able to fulfill their destiny. Unfortunately, Reuben lost his own. No wonder when Apostle Paul was running divine commentaries on biblical heroes, the name of the firstborn of Israel, Reuben, was not mentioned. I pray that your name will not be missing in the book of life. Thank you, and the Lord bless you. Shall we just pray? Wherever you are, say a word and pray for your firstborn. And say, Father, by your power, defend my firstborn. Defend me as firstborn. My firstborn Arise for her, arise for him. Shall we begin to pray? There are so many firstborn whose destinies have been truncated. Cry unto the Lord and say, Lord, I want my firstborn, I want all firstborn listening to me to fulfill their destiny. Every attack the enemy is launching against them, I nullify, I cancel, and I say, back to sender. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, I decree into the life of every firstborn listening to this episode that in the mighty name of Jesus, every attack that the enemy is launching at you from every demonic altar, it is nullified today. I decree every firstborn listening to me will fulfill his or her destiny in the name of Jesus. All those who are connected with the firstborn, in the mighty name of Jesus, you will also fulfill your destiny. Thank you because you have answered, for we have prayed in Jesus' name. Thank you so much till we meet at the next episode. God bless you all.